What's going on, guys? Coach Matt and YouGoProBaseball.com back here again with the man, Josh <laughs> Cathcart, here at Hardball Academy in Pearland, Texas, just south of Houston. Uh, if you haven't seen Josh before, he's on YouTube, Instagram, all of them, The Baseball Doctor. Definitely check him out. I'll leave a link down below. He's got some really great stuff. In this video, we're going to talk about three hitting drills to work on or promote the perfect bat path and swing plane. This is super important in hitting, but first, we were just talking off camera. Yeah. Can you differentiate uh, be the difference between bat path and swing plane? Tell us the difference and then get into the drills. Absolutely. So number one, having a consistent bat path is something all players should strive for. When you get on a tee, we want to have a, the same bat path. You don't want to be chopping one time, lifting one time, pushing, those types of things. But as it pertains to plane and bat path, I don't think that that is necessarily the same thing. I think that you have to have a good bat path to be able to get on plane but plane matching is more adjustment mid pitch okay if you have a consistent path for a fastball middle middle that's great but what are you going to do now when that slider's coming in or that changeup's moving away or that breaking ball's breaking in at your back foot from a lefty or whatever it is as a right-handed hitter we have to have adjustability and getting on plane takes posture tilt and the lower half in the knees if i need to make a, a plane adjustment down i would be here and kind of sink and then get to this okay my bat path would just be if i'm standing here and what my path looks like do i have a really flat path okay a la alex bregman okay do i have a much you know more arky path where i'm down here a la mike trout okay so each individual player has a different bat path depending on the pitches they like, depending on athletic ability, flexibility, all sorts of different things. But bat paths can change. The ability to get on plane should not, okay? You're going to have to make those adjustments with shoulder tilt and all of those things. So plane match and bat path, while they do go hand in hand, I don't generally refer to them as the same thing, okay? For these drills today, we are going to talk about just creating a consistent path. Once you get that path created, now the adjustability work comes in to get on plane. Okay, so I hope that y'all can kind of understand the difference between those two, you know, topics of hitting. All right, so for these first, there's going to be two drills with this PVC. And I'm going to be honest, y'all, when I first started out years ago, I was not a big fan of the PVC. Okay, you saw all these people doing this stuff with their shoulders and kind of getting all this, and I didn't really understand it all. But now after years of coaching and getting it, I really, really like this. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is just your standard across the chest. Okay, we're going to come in, and I just want to be smooth with my tilt, my shoulder tilt. Okay, right in here. And I'm just going to do a couple of these, maintaining a smooth path okay now what a bad path would look like is if i got going here down and then all of a sudden i started changing and now all of that flattens out or i come over the top or i really i'm scooping up and my shoulders are coming back but i want to be front side and then think about just bringing this right shoulder underneath my chin getting that shoulder tilt being able to hold posture. I'm going to turn this other way so you can kind of see this spine angle right here. I want to be able to hold that angle as I'm getting into my turn. Okay, so that was going to be the first one, just your standard posture and tilt with the PVC. Now, this next one is going to be a full swing with this PVC. This is key. You have to measure this, okay? If you don't, you'll end up poking yourself in the chest. We want to take this, put it right in our chest, and then move our arms out and give ourselves a little bit of space, okay? The reason for that is when I make a full swing here in a second, I want to make sure that my extension is all the way out to the center of the field and I'm not getting stuck in here with my arms bent. I want to be able to get out to a full extension here. All right, so the way that this would look, you're gonna have a little choke up. By the way, this is five feet, okay? And this is pretty standard for all my hitters, five foot PVC. 
So just get into your normal launch position. Again, we want to think about knob to the catcher, my barrel angle kind of at a 45. And again, I'm always going to look at this box with this front side. Okay. Hips going to start. Make sure that we're always sequencing correctly. And then we get into this lag position. In this lag position, I want to check for two things. Number one, that my knee is now worked under my body and that the barrel is parallel or the bat is parallel to the ground at this position where my right hand is stacked up with my elbow, my hip, and my knee. All right, from right there, we just want to go ahead, continue to turn, let the barrel start to work under my hands, out to the center, there's the full extension, and then all the way through, okay? And then I like to back chain this. Some of you may or may not be familiar with back chaining, but back chaining would be taking this from my finished position and working backwards. All the way back, letting that barrel work back underneath the hands, pulling this back, and now I'm right back into my launch position, and then able to go through this again. Back hip, lag, barrel's working under, all the way out, and through. Once we get going, now it's going to be a full swing. And you should really start to feel just a nice flow of this swing. Okay, so those are my two PVC drills to really lock in a more consistent path. Next, we're going to move in. John's going to bring these two T's in for me. What we're going to do here is you want to make sure that when we're attacking this ball, we aren't really coming up real steep on this backside, hitting this back tee. And then, of course, we know we don't want to come down. All right, I need to raise that up. Now, the setup for this, just so y'all get a, a gauge about a ball difference right here in these tees, okay? That, that's going to be the setup there. And then on the back corner of home plate, and then right out in front where we would want a middle, middle fastball. All righty. On this, I like to think and I like to instruct my guys to kind of think about getting to the inside of this baseball. If you want to turn this, you can right in between the laces. You can go through a full swing. Again, I like to start everything and launch to warm up and just nice and slow over the top to the inside. Back it up, again, over the top, to the inside. Now notice when I get to this T, the barrel is not coming over it this way and down. I'm already working that barrel underneath my hands. Notice the angle right here, okay? Underneath the hands, one, two, and then make your swing. If you can get that under control to where as we're making this, we're not hitting that other one and we get a perfect line drive, you know you started to create a consistent path. If we're getting back here, we're banging that one or you're starting to hit the ball into the ground, we still need some work here. So one more time from launch, barrel works under to the inside, barrel works under to the inside, and then a full swing. Oh, caught that one pretty good. That's what that wood bat's supposed to feel like. All righty. So that's your 2T drill. The next one we're going to do, we're going to bring in these cool little toys. The setup for this. Now, these are, from, these are tap conditioning poles. This is a whole setup here. So we have these at the academy. You can find these oat specialties. I think John may sell them actually too. So on this back outside corner, and the very back corner of home plate. Okay, that is the setup for this. Now, I'm sure most of you have heard of kind of an inside out approach. Okay, I like the, it's one of those things where you kind of, I like the idea, but that's not really what I want my guys swinging like, right? We don't, we don't necessarily want you pushing out to the other, you know, opposite field. We want to be able to turn the barrel. We want to be able to get on plane. And like we're talking about in this video, have consistent path. All right, so with this, the setup, this back pole is the back length to my foot. Okay, so that, that's there. And then your front foot, just get comfortable. All righty. Now what we want to do is we want to be able to get to this connection 
and then turn the barrel inside of these, right in here. If I was going to cast out and get out here, I would bang it right there, okay? I wanna be able to turn to the inside and really think about driving this ball right back up the middle the other way. All right, this is a really cool setup. I feel like you're kind of swinging in a box right here. One, remember, hold the box here, turning through, barrel's working under the hands naturally. I'm not pushing, okay, that's a no-no. Just turn and release to the center. So those are my favorite drills that we do around here for bat path, okay? And again, plane match, bat path, they go hand in hand, but for me there is a slight difference. Bat path is something that we create for ourselves as the hitter and work off of that. Plane match is the ability to get the barrel on plane with the pitch and work back out to the middle of the field. Some really great drills again. Thank Thanks, you, man. man. I appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't already, Definitely got to go over to Baseball Doctor on YouTube. That's Josh's channel. Tons of great hitting advice over there. So go over there right now, hit that subscribe button, click the bell, so you'll be notified every time he uploads new videos and he's hey, doing putting yeah. videos up all the every, time. Every so. week. Y'all check it out. And if you're in the Houston, Texas area, come on down. Check him out. Just a little bit of south of uh, Houston and uh, get some training from the man himself. Thank you guys yeah. for watching. Yep. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you, fellas.